it's Christy and today I'm going to do my very first writing update for my current story. So I started writing my current story a little more than a year ago I think. Um, basically I pounded out the first draft over I think over a couple couple months something like that pounded it out I just was focused on getting it done and um, after that I let it sit for a while I think one I was a little bit afraid to read it um, just because I knew that it didn't exactly capture you know the essence of the story I wanted to tell it you know it didn't have all of the um, themes that I wanted in there but, you know, of course, I was proud of myself having gotten it done. Um, so I let that sit for probably about a year before I picked it back up. And in that time, you know, I was working on some other stuff, some other ideas, uh, flashing those out, getting those ready. But the reason that I was wanting to pound that out so quickly was uh, because of the last novel that I had been working on. Basically, back in college, story time, uh, in college... I, for one of my classes, it was about, it was a novel writing class. And so we had to write a 50,000 word novel uh, in order to pass the class. And so I had started something and, you know, I liked the idea and I was like, I want to keep working on this until it's ready and, and, and done. Because that was the first, the first novel I had ever written. It was the, you know, it was the longest thing I had ever written. And I was like, I want to see where this goes. And basically, I ended up spending the next four years working on this thing, you know, revision after revision after revision. Uh, it was never the way that I wanted it to be. I was always, there was always something, you know, missing and, um, or something slightly off. And so I just kept working on it. And then eventually I got so sick of it that I set it down and I said, you know, I may come back to you later in the future, but for now, it's just, you know, I need to move on. I need to do something else. So I started working on my current project. And I think, you know, just that four years <laughs> of struggle on that last one just really made me want to do something different this time. And I just didn't want to be such a perfectionist in, in the way that it was just going to take me years. Um, so I wanted to prove to myself that I could put something out there more quickly and, um, yeah, and just not repeat the same mistakes that I had made in the past. So that being said, I did get that first draft out there very quickly, which was great. Um, but like I said, I didn't have all those themes and everything in place. So, but that was okay. Uh, by the time I picked it back up and I said, okay, I'm ready to do round two. What I did was I read through it. Um, I made notes along the way, parts that I thought were kind of slow. Um, I wrote down, this is the most important thing. I wrote down what I liked about the book and then what I didn't like about the book. So, you know, I was just being very honest in terms of a reader's perspective. You know, I started doing a lot more reading this past year, and I really think that's also helped me kind of put my reader reader hat on um, and say, as a reader, this is what I, you know, I didn't really care for in the book. And these are the parts where I started to get a little bit bored. So um, putting all those notes together, I think the most important, you know, of course, the things that I didn't like, I'm kind of, you know, throwing those out. But then the parts that I did like, I don't know, I felt like that was the most helpful thing for me to say, I genuinely enjoyed these parts of the book, even from an objective perspective. So um, I, I focused on those things that I really liked from the rough draft. And I decided to go back to my outline. So after I made all those notes, uh, I decided to go back to my outline and do it more thoroughly this time. Um, a lot of, I discovered that a lot of the themes that I really wanted to be present in the book weren't there because they weren't there in my original outline. My outline was just a little too thin. Um, it just wasn't fleshed out. And I've discovered that I am that type of writer that I really need to make all those decisions ahead of time because when I sit down to write, I I don't know what it is, but I I I just need a little bit more guidance. You know, I'm not I'm not the type of writer that can just sit there and then 
all this stuff just comes to them and I'm just, you know, writing, writing frenzy. No, um, that's just not real life for me. I need more of a, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, that's just not real life for me. I need more of like a checklist as I'm writing to say, okay, did, did this get in there? Did this get in there? Did this get in there? Because I think I, I write maybe kind of how I speak sometimes. I just kind of start to go off on a tangent and I need my notes, you know, that can tell me, hey, remember you were supposed to talk about this. And I think just for me, I've decided that that's the kind of outline that I need. It's more of like a checklist, you know, um, things for me to refer to as I'm going through my process. But I am planning on making a video about my outlining process, you know, what I learned along the way from the first outline that didn't work to this outline that has worked so much better um, and talking specifically about what I did and the steps I took. So that will be coming soon. So yeah, now um, after my outline was completed, I am now in that second uh, writing phase, writing that second draft. Um, it you know, started out a little bit clunky, I would say, uh, just because it's been a while since I wrote, you know, I wrote that rough draft a year ago, at least. And, you know, in the meantime, I've been doing a lot of analysis, a lot of, you know, note taking and stuff. But there's a huge difference, you know, in you know, actually writing, drafting something, um, and, you know, just making notes. So I do think it's something that you kind of have to work your way into. And I'm trying not to be too hard on myself. Um, because I know it's just, you know, a practice thing and, you know, you just have to flex those muscles and get back into the groove. It's the same thing as exercising, right? You know, like your body's going to be a little bit like, oh, I don't like this at first. Um, but then, you know, you just do it more and you get used to it and you get better. So, and the other thing that I found that really helps me through my writing is a song list. So that's one thing I do in my downtime is anytime there's a song that really inspires me or, you know, helps me work through a certain scene or a certain emotion or whatever it is, um, I add it to this playlist that I have for this project that I'm working on. So listening to that playlist, maybe like the night before I'm going to be writing. So it has some time to kind of like settle in and I'm, I'm kind of in that mode, uh, the next day when I'm ready to write, um, that has been really helpful for me. So yeah, I will have that video on outlining coming up soon. And I was also thinking about maybe doing a video about lessons that I've learned um, along the way because there have been a few that I learned from just the rough draft to the second draft that I'm writing now, which is, oh my gosh, it's already so much better. And I just, even reading through what I what little I've written in the second draft so far, I feel so much more connected to the story and the characters. And so, yeah, I'll have some more videos coming of that stuff very soon. So if you like this video and you want to see more of my writing updates for my current project, uh, subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every single week. And until next time, bye.